dark, big, small, curly, straight, brown, blue. Minuscule genetic changes account for all of our differences. To track our ancient paths, though, scientists study DNA that stays very much the same. And men like George Dellis, it's a Y chromosome. All that, let's do one more. It's been passed down the line from father to son over thousands of generations, and ultimately traces back to one man who lived in Africa around 60,000 years ago. Call him Scientific Adam. He wasn't the only guy alive back then, but only his Y chromosome survived through the ages, and every man alive today has a copy. For women, like Nejla Demerji, the DNA comes from special cell structures called mitochondria, which both men and women carry, but only moms pass along. These trace back to one woman who also lived in Africa between 150 to 200,000 years ago. Call her Scientific Eve. She is the oldest root of our family tree. Africa is where the journey begins for everyone alive today. Wow. <laughs> no words. <laughs> to think that we could all start from one, one point of origin and then be so completely diverse, like thousands, hundreds, and thousands, millions of years later, is, it's kind of wild. <laughs>